Um, wh when, from your perspective, is is the right time to start taking on um, and invest investing? Uh, you know, VCs talking to people who are uh, prepared to, to fund, put in funding the, the companies. You know, outside of what you're doing. I mean, is there a is there a point that you got to that you said, okay, let's start talking to people? Is it something you're doing all the time as the CEO and the founder? I know a lot of people that do <laughs> you spend a lot of time doing that. Maybe you can talk to us about that. So if you think about the role of the CEO, how many of you are going to be CEO even of your own company? Yes? Several? Really? Nobody? Okay. There you go. This is group participation. <laughs> <laughs> if you're CEO, the three letters you have to remember is PCP. Not the drug, right? That's for a different type of CEO. But PC PCP stands for people, capital, and process. These are the three roles that I believe that the CEO plays. People, making sure that you've got the right people on the bus and the right seats are filled. Um, process, meaning that you're able to systematize the things that work over and over so you can scale. And the third is capital. Capital is the blood of the business, no doubt about it. You have to have capital yeah. in order to, to, to work things. Our personal path, again, I funded the business uh, out of the gate. Uh, we were able to raise a little bit of, of uh, angel money uh, just from friends and family, people that <laughs> believed in me personally, that knew me and knew my character and said, okay, I'll, I'll give that guy a little bit of capital. And that's another point. Um, if you want people to give you money, be the type of person who deserves it. Right? Be uh, honest, be accessible, and uh, be trustworthy. If you're not any of those things, you should not start a business because someone will see through you. Right? And then they'll tell all their friends and it's gonna be dead anyway, right? So uh, be the type of person that, that deserves capital, I would say. Um, but, so we were able to raise a little bit of money and we got the business to a couple million, several million dollars in revenue mm -hmm. and had just broke even before we raised any venture capital. And then we signed a deal with Best Buy where we were literally going to staff 138 Best Buy stores around the nation. They wanted to put in these learning centers in, inside Best Buy. So um, there was no way for us to do that. Like we did not have the wherewithal to hire people to, in order to staff that. So it was at that point where we were at a point where we had this huge growth opportunity and no way to get there without capital when it was the right decision for us mm -hmm. to, to raise capital. So we went, and this was 2011, so by that time we had self-funded for several years, uh, got the business where we, where we needed it to, and uh, talked to 44 venture capital firms, and finally got a yes. <laughs> and what, what was the time frame for the 44 that you talked to? Was that like over a month, two months, couple months? Yeah, probably about six weeks. Hustle. Yes. A lot of hustle. Yeah, it becomes your full-time job. Yeah. So if you decide that you want to walk down this path, uh, I, first of all, it's probably not the right situation for every company. There has to be a very good story. You're competing um, against hundreds of other companies that are trying to vie for that same amount of capital. So your story has to be good. Your team has to be good. You have to have traction already uh, uh, ready to go. And if you have those sorts of things and then you want to get in a marriage that you cannot get out of, um, then, then maybe perhaps you should consider it.